Introducing Cornell Unmanned Air Systems 2022 Flight Line. Gregory George, Team Captain, Class of 2022. Luca Caval, Team Captain, Class of 2022. Owen Sorber, Imaging Ground Control Station Operator, Class of 2023. Evie Yemi Camera Gimbal System Operator, Class of 2023. Jack Williamson, Safety Pilot, Class of 2024. Aiden Zamorski, Autopilot Ground Control System Operator, Class of 2023. Eric Kim, Intelligent Systems Operator, Class of 2023. Polina Yamashkina, Hardware Operator, Class of 2024. Leading up to the 2022 competition, our team, Cornell University Unmanned Air Systems, focused on building our most ambitious aircraft to date. Christened Artemis, our plane was not only the most complex and physically largest aircraft we built to date, but it was also set to confidently achieve each and every mission objective of this year's competition. Our most substantial feature was Artemis's completely new vertical takeoff and landing systems, which we call VTOL. CU Air's 2022 Artemis system prioritized stability and maneuverability. Its propeller augmentation reflects the VTOL functionality with four vertical propellers and motors that push downward. A pusher propeller on the back of the fuselage enables a transition to horizontal flight, and skis support a safe vertical landing. A custom two-axis gimbal housed in the fuselage minimizes camera rotation and maintains unobstructed, precise, targeted image capture. Artemis' software systems featured custom VTOL tuning, a new Wi-Fi system, region of interest scheduling to implement a two-pass image capture system, and a current sensing board to enable precise geolocation of targets. However, in early May, in one of our final test flights, Artemis faced a system failure and crashed. Unable to rebuild Artemis in the short amount of time remaining until competition, we still want to showcase the hard work and hundreds of hours our team has put in this year, and we will be using our backup aircraft, which still maintains much of our software system capabilities. At competition, we will fly Bartholomew. Bartholomew is a Skyhunter sonic model airframe built and customized by our team. It has a 1.8 meter wingspan and a pusher propeller behind the fuselage. The Skyhunter is a twin boom foam based aircraft and features tapered wings with a boom tail. A Sony R10C camera is securely attached within the fuselage using a custom PLA 3D printed mount that is screwed directly into a horizontal bulkhead within the fuselage. Bartholomew's Electronics Bay, or eBay, located inside its fuselage, holds a lithium polymer battery and all devices necessary for flight. Additionally, a Raspberry Pi Model 4B in the eBay controls our camera, the Sony R10C. The Sony UMC R10C camera has an E3846 mapping sensor package that makes data collection and post-processing faster and easier. Paired with a Pixaw Cube and Raspberry Pi, its images are automatically geotagged in flight and saved to an SD card. A UI allows team members to manually identify objects in photos, record characteristics, merge repeat sightings and forward target data and thumbnails to the judges through the interop server. To accomplish the autonomous flight and waypoint objectives, we've created a custom version of the Arduplane fixed wing autopilot that runs on the Cube Pilot Cube Orange flight controller. In addition, the Pixaw Cube is connected to a number of peripheral sensors, including an airspeed sensor and a HEAR GPS. For controlling the aircraft, we've designed and built a custom web-based ground station on top of the popular MOV proxy ground station, using cutting-edge web technologies and containing a full-featured web server for integration with other systems, allowing us to change parameters and mission waypoints, as well as connect to the interoperability server. The autonomous vision system relies on heuristics and machine learning algorithms to detect and classify object sightings and images retrieved from the aircraft through the imaging ground server. The system detects regions of interest, or ROIs, using the mask RCNN model. After an ROI is identified as containing a target, unit segmentation generates a shape segmentation. Further algorithms use these contours to classify the target's shape, alpha, orientation, and alpha colors. For the obstacle avoidance algorithm, the team ultimately decided to use a randomized algorithm based on spline-based rapidly exploring random tree. The randomized nature of the spline-based RRT allows the team to find flyable paths at a much higher success rate without sacrificing safety or computational speed. We optimize various heuristics and parameters to guarantee flyability for Bartholomew. These paths not only actively avoid obstacles and prioritize proximity to waypoints, but aim for low curvature splines for ensured maneuverability. CUR plans to attempt all mission tasks besides the air delivery task. The Bartholomew system has flown in four full mission test flights and has reliably and accurately completed 
completed autonomous flight and object detection, classification, and localization. Seaware is confident in the ability of the Bartholomew system to complete these mission objectives. Developmental testing is a vital part of Seaware's design process to enforce safety and ensure all components work according to specification. Before integration, all custom hardware systems are first individually qualified through ANSYS and load tested to ensure its efficient strength, and all software is unit tested and code reviewed. All subsystems are rigorously tested on the ground with a flight simulator, tested in our lightweight nano tail on airframe we named Squishy, and have been tested in numerous test flights on the Bartholomew and Artemis airframes. Seaware has developed a custom waypoint navigation algorithm that uses cubic bezier splines to anticipate upcoming turns. This new system was tested in a flight simulator and software in the loop simulation, and then confirmed with Squishy. Once it displayed reliability on both platforms, it was added to the Bartholomew system. Bartholomew has flown five flights using our autonomous navigation system, and many more in FBWA or fly-by-wire A and manual modes, attempting over 55 waypoints. Bartholomew has an average miss rate of 16.3 feet, hitting all waypoints within the 100-foot threshold. Bartholomew's obstacle avoidance system has been used on a total of six flight hours in 17 different flights with other airframes. As with the waypoint navigation algorithm, the obstacle avoidance system was tested in both a flight simulator and on Orion, our previous aircraft, before integration into Bartholomew. On previous custom airframes, the team tested the obstacle avoidance system on a total of 84 static obstacles with 79 avoided, and tested on a total of 35 moving obstacles with 31 avoided. All captured images have a resolution of 20 megapixels, and images are sampled at a rate of 1 image per 5 seconds. While flying at 200 feet, the system captures an area 180 square feet per image. Each target of size 10 square feet has a resolution of 5,000 square pixels. Seaware employs a number of techniques to ensure the best possible image quality. The team built its imaging control software to be able to customize camera settings, adjusting shutter speed and ISO to eliminate motion blur and minimize noise. Post-processing techniques on the ground allow operators to adjust contrast and saturation of photos during classification, providing better distinction between colors in images. Seaware's autonomous vision system has robust performance, often performing as well as human taggers. From a collection of approximately 4,000 images captured from test flights and previous competitions, over 40,000 images were generated to create a synthetically generated data set used in training and validation of the model. All object shapes, alphanumerics, and colors are represented in the data set. Additionally, through synthetic generation, various transformations such as angle and lighting are also accounted for. On data collected from several competitions and local test flights, the detection system has a precision of 98% and a recall of 30%. The alphanumeric classifier is 66% accurate. The shape classifier is also 80% accurate. The color classifier currently runs at 45% accuracy and orientation is 66% accurate. The team has tested our localization system on a series of artificial targets during test flights using a DJI matrice before implementation into the Bartholomew system. The GPS location of these targets are measured with a stationary sensor. Then the error vector is measured between the location of the target and the predicted location of the target, and this error vector is fit into a function of plane telemetry for error correction. Latitude and longitude values from our localization algorithm have a mean error of 19 feet and standard deviation of 9 feet from the target's true location. Orientation was accurately identified 100% of the time. We tested our mapping algorithm by using real images taken from our Sony R10C camera paired with GPS data during flights with our DJI Matrice test platform as well as Bartholomew itself. We generated three full maps with 100% coverage. The quality of all generated maps in the testing was MID, with small repeated features and stitching errors. Bartholomew will not be attempting air delivery. The team proceeded to employ full mission tests to assess the performance of the integrated Bartholomew system at achieving each of the mission objectives. Waypoint navigation and autonomous flight were achieved very reliably as they were in developmental testing. Object detection, localization, and classification was performed in all full mission tests with our Sony R10C camera installed in Bartholomew. Several combinations of alphanumerics, shapes, and colors were tested against on both grass and pavement. After four full mission tests, the Bartholomew system has been shown to work together reliably. Seaware has conducted four full mission tests. These flights were graded against the rubric provided in the mission demonstration portion of the rules to assess the team's performance. For the timeline task, the team scored an average of 86% of points, taking an average of approximately 7 minutes to set up, 6 minutes of mission time, and 12 minutes of pros processing time, along with no timeouts except for during our third full mission test. The team expects a longer mission time of competition due to the larger search area compared to its own full mission test fields, but does not expect to require more post-processing time due to improved personal training and multiple MDLC taggers. For the autonomous flight task, Seaware attempted to fly various different waypoint paths over our local airfield to ensure reliability in different navigation situations. On this task, the team scored an average of 86% of points with all flights completed fully autonomously aside from takeoff and landing. Bartholomew achieved all waypoints within 100 feet and hit waypoints with an average accuracy of 34 feet. The team expects to achieve similar performance in competition. Obstacle avoidance was not tested. After installing a camera in the Bartholomew system, the Seaware tested against five standard objects in each flight. On average, the team achieved 37% of the object detection, classification, and localization task points. The team recognized nearly all of the characteristics, occasionally missing alphanumeric. On average, the team achieved 94% of characteristic points. The team does not expect to receive any points for the actionable bonus. Seaware expects similar performance in competition, with the exception of geolocation, which was not tested in the full mission tests due to a connection error between our onboard computer and Pixhawk, but worked successfully.
successfully in several developmental tests. In addition, the team expects to achieve more points on autonomy due to improved training of classifiers using synthetic targets. The mapping was not tested. After completing these four full mission tests, CUR has demonstrated it can operate safely and professionally during the competition mission. The team hopes to achieve full marks for operational excellence. The average overall score from all mission tests was 32.8%, and CUR expects to score at least this high at competition.